software engineer, and when I do things, I like to do them efficiently. So what's the most efficient way of working out? Well, it depends on your goal. Typically, your given workout routine has three different components, cardio, mobility, and strength. If you want to get more flexible, then your routine will have more mobility activities, yoga and stretching. If you want to become more muscular or stronger, your routine will have more strength-based activities with weights. If you want to be able to run without getting out of breath, then cardio is where you should focus. However, you should have all three in your routine. So I bought a Peloton and it is the most beautiful piece of technology I've ever purchased. It's my favorite purchase of quarantine. It's great. So they have this feature called stacking classes and it's a way to pre-plan your workouts before you do them. Tomorrow I'm gonna do a power zone workout that will be 45 minutes and I want it to be something I have not taken. The Power Zone program is something you can do to improve your riding on the bike, and I like it. You just have to keep your cycling effort in certain zones or colors during the ride intervals. Let's go ahead and add this ride to our stack. After a ride, I usually like to do a five minute stretch, and I usually like it to be not taken. So it'll be pre post ride stretch and five minutes. See. We'll do it with Cody Rigsby. Add that to our stack. Typically with a stack, it's added to the top of the stack, but not today, not with Peloton. It's added to the bottom of the stack. It's a queue, it's not a stack. Does Spotify have a patent on the queue? I don't know, but I'll see you tomorrow. like about power zone rides what you can do is you can go into the app and it'll show you like your graph of the workout so your workout is in specific zones and it'll show you how long you held those zones and it's like data about your workout but this one was really interesting because it had intervals and usually you hold like long periods of time in a given zone and this was like this zone for 30 seconds then this zone for one minute and so that's why it's like super jagged of a graph but yeah happy Monday so usually I'll do my heavier workout in the morning and so that is the cycling or a strength workout and then in the afternoon slash after work I'll do a yoga class usually like 20 to 30 minutes nothing crazy it's kind of nice to separate it out and have like two different times of the day one's like a heavier one's a less heavy and more mobility it's nice to mix it up yeah so I'll see you for yoga all right it's a little later and we are going to do this chest opener flow it should be good we stacked it earlier and this is really good after you've been coding for a significant period of time and so that's why we're doing it today it's really nice because I can just stream it on the Apple TV we have water I just move most of my stuff out of the way and so I can do yoga nice little workout for sure. I love the yoga fish posture, a favorite. So that's it for today. We did yoga, we did cycling. See you tomorrow. Okay, I am getting ready for an upper body workout. I have some weights here I use for upper body. I use the 12 pound for like my large weight, eight pounds as a medium, five as a small. If you're just starting with weight training, I find that these are good weights to start with, maybe a little less. Some people say like your heavy weight should be 20 pounds. I can't do that, so we have our 12 pound weight. The upper body workout for me is my favorite, but also I feel like the most important. If you're sitting at a desk all day and you're coding or in meetings, like this is the workout for you. Like if you want better posture, this is it. There are all these products for how to get better posture and really you need to have upper body muscles in order to support yourself and so the upper body workout is the thing you need if you want good posture I just do usually a 30 minute workout so we'll find one on the app before it I usually do a warm-up yesterday the power zone classes tend to have like 10 to 15 minute warm-up and so I don't need to necessarily add a warm-up to that but for the upper body or any 
strength training classes, usually I'll do a five or 10 minute warm up and then a five or 10 minute cool down afterwards. So let's get into it. I love the filter. We love to filter data. Oh my God, is it not working? <laughs> There's so many bugs in this app, it's not funny. Let's try again. And it works. <laughs> yep, sounds about right. All right, class type. All right, we like Maddie Majagamo. We'll start with this one. This one should be pretty good. Complete. So I usually filter by upper body, 30 minutes. 7.3 difficulty, so it'll be kind of hard. Let's do it. All right, done with that one. Now I think we're gonna do a quick stretch and then that's it. It's Wednesday and today we're gonna do a power zone endurance ride. Power zone endurance is kind of like the power zone rides but they're a little easier. Usually they're in zones two and three so not as much recovery but not as hard of an effort. Let's go pick one out. That was a nice, easy Peloton ride. Not too bad, good playlist. On the graph, it pretty much stays steady the entire time. It dips a little bit for the zone two recoveries, but most of it's in zone three. Cadence is pretty much the same. It's about holding a similar output for almost the entire ride. I did a 30 minute one this time, but sometimes I'll do a 45 minute one, just depends. And I'll see you in a bit. Hey, happy. Thursday. Today on the stack, we have a warm up, a full body workout, and a cool down. They're stacked up, so let's get into it. This is actually a bug in the app, but in order to like access your stack, you have to like go into something and oh, boom, it appears. Go ahead and start it. Hello, it is later, and I and picking out a yoga workout. Today, I actually have time to do yoga. So we are gonna pick out a yoga workout. Let's see. Let's do this one. That was nice. A solid yoga flow. I have no other updates. See you in a while. All right, it's Friday, and today we're gonna do a lower body workout, and we're gonna do a warm up, a cool down, so let's pick it out. We're gonna start off with a warm up. All right, now for the main set. We're gonna do this one with Jess Sims from over a year and a half ago. It's a little later, and we're gonna do some yoga. I'm gonna do this slow flow class with Chelsea Jackson Roberts. Should be really good. What's up, Peloton? Now I wanna take a nap. Tomorrow we are gonna do one more fun ride on the bike, and then that'll be it for the whole week. Hey, it's Saturday, and today we're gonna do a 30 minute ride on the bike. And for this one, I usually don't do a power zone ride. I do one, usually that's a theme ride, so we can take a look at the classes. All right, this is what we have on the stack today. We're gonna do a warm up ride, a pop ride, and then a post ride stretch. So let's do it. Let's take a look at the graph. This ride, for me, it was all over the place. It was like heavy resistance the, almost the entire time. But usually for my Saturday ride, I just want it to be enjoyable. I just pick one that looks fun and go with it. I was feeling pretty lazy in the beginning of the ride, and then I realized how low my score was gonna be. So that's it for the week. Usually I'll do a rest day on Sunday, maybe yoga, depends how I'm feeling. If you've been keeping track, I usually do about three cycling workouts, three strength training workouts and three at least three yoga classes ideally I would do some yoga every day but sometimes it just doesn't happen if you have not worked out recently or have never exercised before don't do all of these things at once I have 
zero credentials. Given that, I think a really good place to start is to do yoga two or three times a week. Yoga is something where you can go at your own pace and you'll start to see results fairly quickly. Then, once you feel good about that, maybe add on some strength training. Two, three times a week, maybe do an upper body and a lower body, or just one full body workout. I used weights in all of the strength training workouts this week, but body weight workouts are fine too. Eventually, you'll probably want to add weights at some point, but to start off, it's totally good. If you're feeling good about all of that, then maybe add some cardio. Do some running, do some cycling. I would caution to not do a ton of cardio in the beginning. Your muscles may not be built up yet, so it's a lot easier to get injured if you go straight into those cardio exercises. The goal for me was to gain strength, improve my posture, and just feel better, feel healthier. I've been doing this type of routine for about four to six months now, and I have seen results. This routine may work for you or it may not work for you but this is how I work out as a software engineer thank you so much for watching like subscribe I make courses with LinkedIn learning so I have a few promo codes down below three free months and I'll see you next time happy coding